Hey guys, so it's a PDS weather day in Oklahoma. That's a particularly dangerous situation. We are at how you like level 10 risk of tornadoes. So we just got the shelter ready and uh, we killed a snake in the shelter. So yeah, but kind of crazy morning. Um, made the kids a quick breakfast scramble and they ate that and now they're cleaning upstairs and we are just watching the weather. I'm gonna clean downstairs and keep an eye on it. And we've got shoes lined up by the door and everything down in the shelter. So we are ready if it gets bad. Okay, guys. So this is my storm shelter. And right there is where the snake was this morning. And I was down here pumping out the water. and had my hands all up in here and never even saw it. So my son came down here and was like, hey, mom, look at that snake. But anyways, all the kids have a blanket. Well, the big kids have a blanket on a chair because that way they know where they're supposed to sit. And then we just have extra clothes, just an extra blanket, lighter, candles, container, empty water bottle I didn't see earlier. And when we ran to the store earlier, I got this candle because otherwise I just have the little tea light candles and this old one that's been up here since, I don't know, since before we moved in. Um, I picked these up for a dollar a piece, but it was all they had. Um, so we went ahead and picked those up and I got the kids chalk to draw on the walls, kind of help them stay calm. Um, drinking water, the diaper bag just has um, the babies. Let's see if I can unzip this while I the baby's diapers and clothes and all my daughter's um, arthritis medicine and stuff and extra diapers and then I just have some extra like quick and easy crackers, cookies, cereal, pop tarts. So hopefully we don't need any of this and nothing comes of this but it's already thundering and well there see there's some of their artwork from last time we were down here. But anyways and there's a slug, but at least it's not a snake. So, huh. anyways, let me close this big heavy door. All right, so it's starting to already get nasty and windy and questionable, and the storms haven't even made it this way yet. Hey guys, so um, I thought all the storms had passed and I thought I was going to get a shower and get to bed and then my phone went off while I was in the shower and now we're in tornado warning till like 3 a.m. So I'm going to go work on putting some plans that a friend and I have into writing and keep an eye on the weather and hope for the best because we have to be up at 5 a.m. for the dentist. Um, all four of my big kids have the dentist from 8 a.m. till noon. And then we have the library after. So we have to be up pretty early and it looks like it's going to be a long night. I'm sorry to wake you guys up. you doing? <laughs> Come on, you're supposed to be in the house. <coughs> Ha 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 ha. 
for the coffee? No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, you have to do one more. One more healthy first. Okay. I am doing something healthy first. Eggs, bacon, sausage, hash browns. Uh, well, parsley, healthy. Are you happy? <coughs> yep. Hey guys, so it is almost 11 p.m. on Tuesday evening, and I just wanted to kind of um, give a recap. Um, so, Monday morning we got the shelter ready. Monday afternoon, all the storms started. Um, we didn't get anything here till around 12:30 at night. We had to go to shelter for about 20 minutes, and then um, from there we came in, everybody else went to bed. I stayed up till about 2.30 and just watched the weather and I thought, okay, we're good. I went to bed and at four o'clock my father-in-law called and he said, if you're not watching the weather, you better get up and start. So I got up, made a cup of coffee and turned the TV on and they were telling us to go to shelter. Um, so, uh, I got the kids up, got my husband up, and we all rushed down to the shelter, and we had a, um, they said, they're not sure if it's like an EF0 or an EF1 went over. It clipped and cut off like the tops of some of our trees. It knocked a tree over our fence, and that's it, really. Blew toys everywhere. Um, blew the um, kids' step stool for their trampoline, but didn't damage their trampoline at all. And then um, two houses down, it completely destroyed a barn. And a couple houses down from there, it ripped somebody's porch off their house. So, um, yeah, we got really lucky and we didn't have anything else after that. Um, we lost power at four, right after we got out of the house to go to the shelter, our power went out. So, um, around 8.30, it came back on and then it went back off and back on and, um, Later, me and the kids decided to go eat breakfast, and um, right up the road, they had some power lines that they were working on replacing, so um, when we got back from breakfast, we had power, and it stayed on since, and we just spent the afternoon cleaning up the house from not cleaning it yesterday while we were watching with the weather, and um, from today, because we just got dressed and left this morning, and so we clean the yard, clean the house, um, and that's about it. 